This is uh, HO68. HO68 is an amateur radio satellite. Unfortunately, the, uh, the, the repeater transponder uh, failed on the satellite, but the beacon is still functioning. So this is the beacon. So here I'm uh, using computer control to actually control my uh, radio, which uh, on my laptop here, which you can see with Ham Radio Deluxe. So when I change the frequency on Ham Radio Deluxe, changes the frequency on the radio. As you can see, the tone is actually changing, and that is because of Doppler shift. And here's a satellite. The little house is where I am here in Montreal. And you can see the satellite information about the range. It's more than uh, 1,900 kilometers away. See the altitude of the satellite at so its closest point. It can be about 1,200 kilometers. And keep in mind that this is only about a watt or two, you know, these are very little powered transmitters. I'm using a vertical antenna. And if we go back to Ham Radio Deluxe to readjust the frequency. And as it's getting higher and higher, Doppler shift is getting faster and faster. Satellite tracking software is the one that is included with the uh, Amradio Deluxe software. It's got a uh, satellite tracking software with it. Uh, you can also use Orbitron, which is a great piece of software also. And you can see HO68 hop right there. Uh, I've got lots of satellite that I'm tracking on my uh, Orbitron because there's lots of things to listen to on the radio. So let's go back to control, so I can lower the frequency. You can hear me clicking away on the keyboard of my computer to uh, maintain the frequency. Pretty amazing and pretty cool to hear signals from space. So this was a little uh, video showing you how to uh, how I'm set up actually to uh, receive HO68, and uh, this is a HO68 pass on uh, October 5th, 2012. The uh, CW that you're hearing on HO68 is uh, some information, I would say a little bit of telemetry or information about the satellite itself. It's uh, giving its ID identification and it's also giving information like the uh, voltage levels um, of the batteries or solar panel the um, 
also giving information about the internal temperature of the satellite itself. So this is the kind of information that you can actually use if, uh, for example, the satellite fails, like in this case it did fail, so it can be used to uh, try and see what, uh, what could have happened. So this was the decoding and the receiving of HO68 satellite, it's an amateur radio satellite. Thanks for watching.